So uh, the next thing we're going to do is find the degrees of freedom for any of these tests that we're going to do, and this is going to help us get our critical value that we're going to compare things to. And again, we'll talk more about that later. Um, but we want to be able to find this degrees of freedom, which is a really, really simple thing to find. Uh, to get the degrees of freedom, you just take the rows minus one and multiply by columns minus one. And what's going to happen here is you're going to have a table of frequencies. Uh, my exact example of that I did gender and female animal. So if I had gender male, female, and uh, let's see what we have. And my three variables animals are dog and cat and bird. Okay, to find the degrees of freedom of this, I would take the number of rows minus one, so there's two rows, so two minus one. Now I multiply that by the number of columns minus one, so there's three columns. So I would get two minus one is one, three minus one is two, so my degrees of freedom would be two for that individual situation. One of the things that we're going to look at when we actually practice some of these down below is you're going to have a total column a lot of times or a total row. And we'll talk about what those are when we get down into some problems. We don't count those. All right. And though you don't count the ones with the names in them, I guess I didn't put that in there. Um, let me add this. Do uh, Name. 